Hello, this is Joe Barnes online here with another quick tip. And I get asked quite a lot how to create a webinar in GoToWebinar, which is a fantastic webinar platform. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Here I am in my GoToWebinar. This is where you're going to come to after you have logged in. This is kind of your dashboard. And the first thing you're going to do is click on Schedule a Webinar. Once through into schedule a webinar, if you have some old webinars you've already set up, then you're able to kind of copy those across. But we're going to start with a brand new one. So I'm actually going to put this as new test webinar. OK, in here, this is where you'd put your description. Um, so anything that you want to go in here with all your times and join us live and all that kind of stuff. Join us live on XXXXX. OK, and then your description and details about the webinar go in there. Down here is where you actually pick your date and time for whenever you want the webinar. So let's pick the 1st of November and then you're going to pick the time in whichever time zone that you want to use. So this is currently in GMT, which we'll leave it at and we'll say we'll, we'll call it 9 p.m to 10 p.m. That's when the webinar will be on Friday the 1st of November um, in GMT time. OK, uh, this is a one off webinar I'm just setting up here for you. So I'm going to say it does not recur. And down here, if you want to, you can actually put in panelists. So if you want other people to come in um, and be part of your team moderating or whatever, here is where you'd put their name and their email address if you want panelists. And then you simply click save and continue. OK, from in, in here, here is where you would actually decide on the branding and the theme of your webinar. And you have a few different options. You have this business theme here or a basic theme, a PR theme, a sales theme, a training theme, whatever it is that you want to use. Uh, first of all, you can start by uploading a logo. You need a 400 by 200 pixel logo here. So you simply click choose file, go into your um, images and grab the logo that you want to use. OK, 400 by 200 and then simply click upload. And there's your logo. And then down here you can add an image as well to go in your theme. If you see there's the logo, it's going to go up there. Your image is going to go over here. So you can click on upload custom image and again go into your images and pick your custom image and click upload. And so now we've got our image as well. And then when we come down here, this is where if you want, you can pick a different color for your waiting room. This is where people are going to wait for you to arrive. And you're going to put in your presenter name in here and the title that you might want to put in there. OK. <laughs> and then here you can put your presenter image. So I'm going to grab my image here. Click upload. And there's my image as well. And also, when your attendees arrive, you may want to just give them a little message that says something like, grab a cuppa, sit back, we're starting soon. OK, and then what you can do is preview the theme and preview the waiting room. So if we just click on preview theme, then we'll see there's our logo and there's our picture. OK, and then there's here's all the details of the webinar. And this is what's going to happen after they've registered. That's what they're going to see. And then this is the waiting room. So when they arrive, this is what they're going to see as they come in. There's your logo, there's your picture, there's your um, uh, graphic of you and your title, etc. And what will pop up on their little questions box on the corner will be grab a cuppa, we're starting soon. And then you simply click save and continue. And then in here, I tend to clear all of these because all I want is the first name, the last name and their email address when they fill out the form to register. So I don't want all of this stuff here. You can, if you want to have a question on your registration form that they need to answer before they uh, come on board. And then down here, you can actually put in a URL that you're going to redirect your registrants to after they have left their name and email address. So you can send them to your blog or anything like that. But just be wary that if you are using a script that uh, uses GoToWebinar and Aweber, you will already have a page that you're sending them to on your thank you page in Aweber. So just be aware of that when you do that. And then all you do is you click save and email me the invitation and your webinar is created. There's our new test webinar. Uh, you will get an email or you can simply click on the little button here, 
grab this registration link here okay copy that and then you can put that link wherever you want in emails behind graphics on your blog in opt-in pages wherever you want that link to go you can then go out you can just post it on social media wherever and invite people to come to your webinar and then on the time and date of your webinar you simply click start and away you go and that is how you set up a webinar in GoToWebinar. <laughs>